Hello again. My name is Miguel and welcome. First of all, I must apologize for the noise you might hear in the background. They are doing construction in my area. Today I'm going to make for you Kalalo Rondong. So the ingredients are shredded Kalalo, half of a ripe scotch bonnet pepper, coconut milk, chocha, fermented seed, onion, garlic, clove, thyme. And this meal is going to be a accompaniment with sweet potato. The preparation stages. So this is Kalalo and this is some water. So just put this in, put the Kalalo in some water. Although I'm washing this, you can tell that I bought this from the supermarket, so you can tell that it's washed, they pre-washed it. Because the water is clean. It's just a little bit green, but it's clean. So remove the water. First, strip these by This is what I'm stripping. Alright, this now with a leaf, you can just cut this off. I am not going to use all of this color for this recipe. I'm going to put the rest of it for breakfast tomorrow morning. In this and support you know this. So you go between these layers and strip it properly. And you just see. A question. Why do we strip these? Alright, let me tell you why. Number one, when it's growing outside, the skin of this is dirty. And number two, when it's shredded and you and, and it's gonna eat it, it gives you a better eat. It's not too much of the string is in it. So those are the reasons. So now remove the water. So remove the waste. Now we're gonna shred this. I'm gonna do it with your Jamaican way. I can't put this on a chopping board right now. So 
So that's the idea. So we pick one. Two. If the stem is too big, just flip it like that. Cut it. About half inch apart. About half inch cut. Keep your fingers out of the way. So that's the idea. So just take out the proportion that you're going to use. Look into the ingredients down there. And visit my website to make a dinner jack for the ingredients. For the right proportion. So put to eat a small pot. Add water. Add enough water to cover the, the sweet potato when you put it in. Put the stove on four. Once it comes to a boil, then you add the potato. Add a pinch of salt. Add a pinch of salt. Okay. Put a little oil on your hand because this the potato is kind of greasy. Potato would stain your fingers and stain your hand and so forth. And stain the palm of your hand. Let's do this. Peel up a okay. Peel it to me and cut the bottom piece off. Off. If you had cut it earlier, just cut it off and just make one cut. So, same time. Add the potato and put the stove on four and cover it sli slightly. Now clean up. That's why I use the paper so you can just So while you wait, clean, prepare, and wash all of the vegetables that we for this ingredient, for this recipe. Would you believe that, that the construction works straight through the night, even on Sunday? The banging when. I know I have to cope with it. I have no other choice but to cope. But boy, this construction man. They could give me some of the money they're making. They could give me some of the money that they are making. That would be good for me to cope with the noise. So let's peel this off. Just the skin. Don't ever. This the first layer is the strongest. The last one really. It is clean as you go. Time a piece of time, not that much. Instruction: This is one finger, about a finger. Whenever I give instruction for two finger, it's about two fingers. I just tie it and put it in the ingredient. So this is about one finger. All right, this we're gonna use just a quarter. This is a quarter, so you just peel it, peel it, peel it, peel it, 
So okay, if you leave a little skin button down. Alright, remove the seed, which is the art. And peel off the side that, that got cut before. Dispose this. Mash this, mash the garlic. Bye. Put in the knife over it and compress it with your palm. Do it properly. You want it to be as fine as this. This is what I was telling you on a previous video. You can also cut the onions like this. So, yeah, like this. Give it a different style. Give it a different trim. So they look like this. Let's see, put that over there and dice this into s small chunks. Small chunks. So keep this covered while you wait so that the fumes from the vegetable so that the fumes from the vegetable does not escape so just keep it covered and put aside so I won't forget them about a teaspoon a quarter teaspoon so the pit the potato is on the pot for about seven minutes and this is what it looks like and you can turn the stuff off because with these food you do not cook them long the less you cook it the more nutrient that that's that's gonna be in it the mere fact that we're boiling it is killing all the enzymes and the enzymes is the energy that your body need to, to, to keep up energy the enzymes enzymes is energy alright let me just give you a little knowledge I'm just doing this like for instance this chocha I don't know how long this chocha was picked the minute it got picked, the life from it is seeping out. If I had like a X, if I had like a, a UV light, you could see the life in it still is. You could see how much life is still left in it. So after a while, it spoils and all the life is gone. So the minute it's picked, the second it's picked, and you eat that fresh fruit, vegetable, food, that that's the enzymes that's the life in the food and that's what that's the nutrient that your body appreciate so that's what I mean by enzymes the mere fact that you cook it in the same hot water is killing it if you freeze it you kill enzymes if you boil it you kill enzymes now to a add a frame put your flame on and add a a frying pot for stewing. Being that it's dried or dry, add the oil. Like two tablespoons.
after 40 seconds or a minute. Allow that to fry for about 30 seconds. Yeah, freeze my pepper, you know, so I'm cutting one now to put it back in the freezer. And Add the color look. Stir fry. Stir fry for one minute. After a minute or two, add, add the coconut milk. The stove's gauge should be on six. Once it comes to a boil, put it on four. Stir in slightly or gently. So now with the pot slid, cover it. <coughs> Put the stove's gauge on four and set your timer. For this recipe I used 2 cups of coconut milk and 2 cups of shredded compressed kalalo. Half of an onion, half a ripe scotch on a pepper, a quarter teaspoon of supplemental seed, a quarter cut of chocha, one spring of thyme and you can add a pinch of salt if you want to but we cook in ital after a minute or so just stir it, stir it in. after five minutes Remove the lid and then just stir fry. Put the stove on six and stir fry. After about two minutes, just check so that it's not sticking. Bye. Oh, remove the pepper. And the 
in the spring of time. After three minutes, this is the end start. The coconut milk is getting less. Just turn it off. And just cover it <coughs> until you're ready to serve. This is Kalalo Rondong, Miguel's Kalalo Rondong. Yes, this is the color of the rundown. Tastes really nice. Mm. Subscribe where it is. You don't taste a strong color though, it's like have a strong mixture. As you don't taste. You can still taste the green. You don't taste like color. Though. Yeah, I should try this. Remember now, I'm cooking Aita. But if you want, you can add a little salt. If you add a little salt, it will kind of bring the taste taste up. Sea salt is what I use. Use good salt. Mm. This tastes good. The taste kind of reminds me of breadfruit, roast breadfruit. Roast bread food will be good with this. This will be awesome with roast bread food. Trust me guys, it really tastes good. Cut all the rum down. I don't know if nobody else knows Jamaica do this, but first me I hear about it. Miguel's cut all the rum down. This tastes so good. Me drink the gravy a while ago, and it tastes so nice. So I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna have this. You know what? While I was eating it, you can eat this out. You can eat it by itself. Kind of the run down. You could just put it in a bowl and eat it just like that with some crackers. Matter. The 
is another way you can serve this. Remove the pimento seeds. See the interference with pimento seed. It's so good. And I thought the chocha would have stand out, but it kind of blend nice. Blend really nice. Bon appétit.